Countrymen, the task ahead is great indeed. And heavy is the responsibility. And yet, it is a noble and glorious challenge. A challenge which calls for the courage to dream, the courage to believe, the courage to dare, the courage to do, the courage to envision, the courage to fight, the courage to work, and the courage to achieve. I always say that uh, the first thing that anybody who comes to Ghana needs to recognize that this is the country in the middle of the world. We are the only country on latitude zero and longitude zero. And definitely that must count for something. For us, one, our locations is quite strategic um, in the center actually of the world. We have gone even further to let everybody appreciate Ghana as the gateway to Africa. It's one of the best countries our tribal, religious, or political differences. The peace is always something that we cherish. So our peace is something to be proud of, and it's testament of the type of people we have here in Ghana. Since I was born, because I've always been in this country, peace is one thing that I'll say that I'm very proud of. So I think going back to what our president said, uh, what makes me proud as being uh, in Ghana is the stability that we are enjoying and the peace that we are enjoying and the booming nature of the economy also. Ghana is the best country on earth. The heaven on earth is Ghana. Ghana is the first state in Sub-Saharan Africa. Ghana was the first country in Sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence. And we have a very strong democratic tradition in the country. Five uh, presidents have transferred power in a row without any hint of difficulty. The historical pedigree that we set ourselves of being the first Sub-Saharan African country to gain independence. And people know Ghana because of Kwame Nkrumah. Ghana is one of the first Sub-Saharan African countries to get independent has played a leading role uh, since the days of Kwame Nkrumah. Ghanaians deciding to embed democracy uh, set the foundation right. It will be politically stable uh, for a long time. In an environment in which you have stability, uh, investors are able to plan better Foreign investors, international investors, always look out for the political stability of the country. That is key. And that is one big plus for Ghana. Every investor wants a peaceful destination to work, wants to reduce his risk, wants to protect his investment. You have no place to go but to come home. That is Ghana. If anybody is looking for a peaceful destination, in Africa, or for that matter, even in West Africa, to put their money, Ghana is the place. So between being a safe, stable, political place and a very nice, attractive hub for manufacturing, I think we've got a great future. Government after government has helped build that kind of uh, impression and that solid stability for us to be able to, to thrive. Many new investors were who are coming into Ghana. A lot of foreign direct investment has been coming in, working in coordination with the government and helping increase the production capacity. We're going to use the resources we have and uh, the human capital we have to drive development in partnership with foreign direct investment. We've challenged ourselves to be the peace setters in Africa. 
and globally as well. So everywhere you look in Ghana, there's opportunity everywhere. So it's the place to be. Not only will you enjoy doing business in Ghana, you probably will learn how to live in Ghana and be successful. Ghana is full of natural resources, hence its name, Gold Coast. Friendliness of the people and their natural hospitality um, is really important as well. The sky is the limit here. There's still so much to be done. In the energy sector, Ghana is creating new opportunities to provide safe, reliable and affordable energy access through onshore and offshore oil exploration and rural electrification initiatives. Through energy democratization, Ghana is creating jobs and increasing the quality of life for its 31 million inhabitants. We plan on making Ghana a petroleum hub um, in the West Africa region. I hear exploration is going on on new oil wells and so on. So I think that there's huge potential for increasing our capacity. And me and GMPC believe that is the way to go. By investing in much capacity building, much technology. We've continued to supply gas reliably for the production of electrical energy or power. So we welcome the new discoveries, offshore and onshore, and we know it's going to expand our market and it's going to reduce the cost of this very vital commodity to us. Individuals uh, have been trained very well in terms of uh, acquiring the necessary skill sets to occupy some of the higher positions in the industry right now. Once the customers know that we can supply safe and reliable Exceed them. I believe that more businesses can even come into the area to benefit from the use of this uh, reliable and stable power supply. The next line of projects that we'll be looking at, mainly I, I believe solar energy is what they'll be considering the most. It will play a key role in determining creating affordability in, in the prices for um, energy in Ghana. Ghana future in this energy sector is very bright. Through the One District, One Factory initiative, Ghana is becoming a pioneer in the manufacturing sector. By industrializing the nation, Ghana is empowering its districts, improving employment, and creating a sense of pride that high quality goods are being produced in Ghana to be exported across Africa and beyond. One district, one factory policy, which just simply means that at least every and each of the 260 districts in Ghana should have some manufacturing or value addition enterprise. The 1D1F um, program is part of the government's initiative to industrialize the country, uh, make it better, and to decentralize industrialization. If the, the 1D1F is really pushing us towards making manufacturing one of the main goals, and I think it's a good initiative by the government to help propel the economy to the next level. I want to speak very briefly about the development of our human capital, which is one of the major things that we also want to tell the world about. The development of our human capital and our democracy together form twin pillars of our unrivaled ability to put our country on the world map. Now, the economy of Ghana has a diverse and rich resource base uh, that helps us to do a number of things, including manufacturing, export of digital technology goods, automotive products, 
hydrocarbons, industrial minerals, and many others. Recently, I'm sure you heard the president saying in Dubai that Ghana remains the safest country in West Africa. We are ranked third in the ease of doing business, and we are now the new commercial capital of Africa under the AFCFTA. These are no doubt solid advantages, but they do not come by chance. They come because we have a strong democracy, we have an open culture, and we have fairness in our business practices. A robust democracy, which includes one of the most accessible media climates in Africa, ensures that investment in our country are safe and they work for the benefit of our people. However, there's no point in all of these exciting things being known, but not being told to the world. And that's why we hope that this documentary, that's why we hope that platforms like this will help us showcase ourselves as Africa's greatest star uh, to the rest of the world. At the Ministry of Information, we are happy to partner this project. We have also commenced engagements with global broadcasting regulators through the embassies in Ghana to facilitate the hosting of Ghanaian television channels which promote Ghana's economic and investment potential on international transmitting uh, platforms. We believe this will assist Ghana's investment and tourism potential and opportunities in global marketing. It will also aid in the export of Ghana's multimedia content into foreign markets and the growth of the global market share of local television networks. Eventually, this should increase export income accruing to the Ghanaian economy. Already, we have received some requests from Ghanaian television networks and bouquet or TV bouquet providers, and we do all that is within our power to assist them in entering global markets. Now, while we are commending you for this production, may I also reiterate the call, especially to production and media houses of Ghanaian origin, to also develop content that markets Ghana's opportunities and potential to local and international audiences. We believe this will be a good contribution to growing the Ghanaian economy. So tonight, we hope that you would enjoy what you see, and our expectation is that it will be the beginning of stepping up the telling of the Ghanaian story on the global stage. We wish you a pleasant evening. Thank you.